Gregory, can I just start with your, your thoughts on the semi-final and a, a big prospect of, of getting to the final for you and your squad? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really good game to play, you know, against a really good team, um, against City, best team in the country right now. So, of course, uh, we are expecting a really good game. Uh, I think it's it's good for the squad, you know, because the girls uh, work so hard since July and uh, hopefully it will be a, a nice, nice weekend. It must be really exciting for the players as well to, to play on a stage and hopefully go one game away from, from lifting a, a very beautiful trophy. Yeah, but game by game you have to play, you know, and uh, and uh, we are not naive. We know it will be um, a big game, you know, a uh, difficult game to play against City right now. But, uh, you know, like I said to the girls, uh, the cup the cup is magic, so anything can happen. In terms of you taking over, how have you found going into the management of, of the women's team at Rangers? Well, it's a big challenge, you know, that's why I said yes um, since the beginning, because uh, Something I think, especially after the World Cup, you know, uh, the the women's world going forward and uh, get better, you know, uh, and it will be better year by year. So for me, it was um, a big challenge. It is a big challenge, and I'm looking forward, but really exciting by the. You constantly been learning. Uh, have you seen your management style evolve, but by the time that you've worked with Rangers? But you're learning every day, you know, especially when you're working for a big club. That's part of the DNA, and uh, that's why I'm so happy to to be here right now. And uh, working with the girls, uh, I'm learning, you know, from the girls every day as well. So it's nice. And for you, moving away from the women's game, but looking towards Saturday, you'll be putting on the Rangers colours again. How much are you looking forward to, well, to playing in that game? Saturday is uh, it would be a special day, you know, because uh, it's for the good cause, you know. And the uh, Shawichi game is always important uh, for Rangers and for Liverpool. The relationship between the clubs are fantastic, and I think it will be a lovely day for for all the fans. For it will be a family day as well, and really nice. Uh, I'm really happy to play the, this game as well. A chance to line up against the Rangers boss Steven Gerrard. How have you found him so far? And you, ca you can kick him. <laughs> <laughs> how have you found how he, well, him, and Rangers have, have began their Premiership campaign so far, top of the table now going into this international break? Well, I don't know if I can speak about the, the first team right now because uh, I think it's not the the moment. But what I can say, I'm really happy, you know, and uh, it's really good for the club. Emma, for you, how exciting is this for you to be able to, to line up in a semi-final and a chance to, to get to a final as well? I think it's exciting. Um, obviously, like you want to win everything that you're in, um, so it's exciting going into a semi-final. Um, we're not naive to think it'll be easy. Um, Glasgow City are a very strong team at the moment, so it'll be a tough game, but... Um, it's 90 minutes of football and anything can happen. Do you have to go into a game like that with no fear and, and just believe in your own ability when you come up against a team that are so strong in that sense? Nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing to lose. Um, there can only be one winner, so um, just put everything into the game and prepare well and uh, look forward to Sunday. How have you found being a Rangers as well since, since your move? How much are you, looking, are you enjoying it? I say I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I think. Um, it's a, it's a huge club um, and I feel that the way they're investing in um, the intent they have and ambition they have within women's football is massive. There's a lot of talk. It. Sorry, there's a lot of talk about going full time and whatnot. Is that for, for Rangers, you know, the investment they're making in into the women's game and into to, to the team that Gregory has as well. Uh -huh. How important is that, you know, for, for your development and the development of the game as a whole as well? Oh, I think it's huge. I think in terms of going full time or semi professional, I think it helps you develop as a player. Um, you don't have to focus on another job. You can solely focus on football, which helps you. Um, um, obviously, like the Rangers have put that in place, and they're uh, hopefully putting that in place. Obviously, going into next season, so I think it's huge for the individual players and for the team collectively. Greg, can I ask you about the, the scheduling of this weekend? Obviously, you said the bounce after the the World Cup and how how much women's football is growing in this country. It's scheduled the same day as when Scotland are playing San Marino. Do you think there should be some movement in terms of when this fixture is played? So more people or the most amount of people as possible can... Well, I think you should ask maybe the SFA, <laughs> not me. You know, uh, after, you know that's that's the case right now. But, and uh, what can I say about this, you know, and uh, I'm not, this is not under my control. So this may be something you need to ask uh, and speak with SFA. Have you found the boost though since the World Cup that the more people are, are, are interested, even Rangers supporters being interested in the women's team and how they're getting on compared to, to before the tournament? I think you know the the World Cup has been successful in France, you know, and uh, now, uh, like I said, the the women's football gets stronger and stronger. So this is something. Um, my point of view, I think yes, the the fans uh, love it, and 
and uh, it will be uh, for the future will be something really really big, really strong. Gregory, just on um, Lazo City on Sunday, you've obviously played them twice now, quite recently. Yes. Has that been? I, I take it that's been a big help in terms of obviously getting to know women's game first of all, and obviously getting to. Know. Well, I think every game is different, you know. So City are so strong, you know, a big squad, international players. So the gap between us and City is quite big right now. So it will be it's nothing to lose for us, you know, and uh, I hope the girl will enjoy the game. Of course, when you work for Rangers, you want to win every single day game because that's part of the DNA, that's part of the club. But like I said, you know, uh, the, the, the last three months, uh, they work really hard and uh, they need to enjoy the game on, on, on Sunday. Is that part of the attraction of the challenge that Rangers are a team that are known for winning things? Yeah, I said to the girls, you know, the, the cup is something special, you know, and uh, so if you can uh, do something special in cup, it will be nice for, for you and for the squad, for the club. So we will see on Sunday, but uh, I know it will be a really tough game. Emma, you've obviously got experience in winning this. You were here last year, if I remember rightly. Or yeah, I was. Yeah. For a minute, I thought you were going to say I wasn't. <laughs> Um, is there anything you can bring to the squad? Obviously, winning the trophy last year with Hibs and then a Rangers shot. Is there anything you can impart wisdom wise on the squad uh, come this weekend? I think, to be fair, um, I bring a sort of experience um, having, having won it before. I think, obviously, we understand it's a tough game on Sunday. Um, but I think in any cup competition, you have to beat the top teams to go on and win it anyway, um, wherever that be in the competition. Um, so we're looking forward to it. And also you were down at Everton last season, you've come back up. Have you noticed any difference from being away for a year and coming back up that maybe some things have changed, whether it be obviously step up at Rangers and things like that? I've noticed a massive change in um, Rangers because the last time um, I played Rangers at the end of last season um, and the team that they are now is nothing like the team they were then.